Theosol10 here. I am so excited to share this video with you guys. So a while back, um, my goodness, I think um, maybe uh, almost a year ago, I watched a video on YouTube um, from this one old witch, and she was very wise, and she was she was talking about some subject and she briefly mentioned this little bit of a concept that kind of stuck with me and and i've i've kind of taken that base concept and have grown on it a lot i do believe and basically what that concept is is you get a very basic statue a very basic um anything really it could be something as extravagant as you know a massive dragon to you know um let me see uh even uh, even like a like a plate holder would work. I do recommend something that you know has this kind of shape to it. Is looks grand to you on a psychological level. Something that makes you go, oh wow, that has power inherent in it. Something that kind of speaks to you on a psychological level. I do recommend that above something like a um, like a drink holder, right? And so what you do to animate and create and awaken a magical guardian is first you have to recognize that we all have a lot of allies across all timelines, dimensions, and branching realities. We have so many different allies. I, I'm getting chills right now. Just bringing awareness to them brings them into your space. Um, but anyways, so we have many, many allies. Ones we wouldn't, we wouldn't even think about in this lifetime. Okay, and a lot of them are very willing to help us in any way they can due to past life connections, karmic ties, contracts, whatever it may be. We have a lot of connections with a bunch of different entities and beings. So what you do is you first want to think about what you're wanting from this ally. This isn't like a familiar, I'm sorry, this isn't like a thought form, a servitor, or a tulpa. This is different. You're not creating something with your own mind, out of your own creation that does your bidding and which you control. This is more of awakening, enhancing, um, and somewhat creating or bringing into your reality a familiar that has its own um, free will. Okay, so if you're wanting something to control and to kind of be your pet, this isn't that. This is more of a familiar that will be your dear ally that will assist you. And this is a long-term relationship. This isn't just something like a servitor that you bring up out of nothing uh, to work for you for a week and then you dissolve them. This is a long-term relationship. Uh, a familiar that can watch over your generations if you like. So... What you first need to realize is that, yes, we have many allies. So, for example, I'm I'm not going to do so much with this one because I don't own this. So, I'm not going to do a whole lot of magic with this. But basically, the premise is is that you talk to it every single day. right? You talk to it every single day. You say, hello. Hello, how are you? Hi, uh, thank you for protecting me. Thank you for giving me your wisdom. Thank you for you know awakening my magic. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. You just keep talking to it. Have a conversation with it. As if it were a real ally sitting inside the statue. Then after a while... If you're spiritually tuned in or energetically sensitive or whatever, you'll be able to see an orc field begin to grow on the creature that, or on the statue that wasn't there previously. You'll see a little thin layer of light. I mean, I'm already seeing one on this, on this statue because of just dragons are immensely powerful and it just comes with it, I suppose. Uh, we are in a magical shop too, so that probably has something to do with it. Um, but anyways, so you'll begin to see a little bit of a light around it. That's when you know it's ready to inhabit something. So once you have that settled out, then I want you to connect to an ally that's of good intention. And I want you to feel that ally. And you basically ask that your ally bring themselves into the statue and have it be as a home for them. Right? Have the statue be animated with their presence and their light. Okay? Ooh, sorry. <laughs> I just felt a shift when I said that. Um, so I'm going to have to undo that later. But basically, you're asking your ally to come into the statue. Okay? And they'll sit there. They'll work with you. And over time, you give them a name. You tell them, you know, what you'd like them to help you with. All of these things in a loving manner. Again, this has nothing to do with control. This has nothing to do with power over them. You're just bringing this ally into your physical dimension okay so you just keep doing that every single day consecutively greeting them thanking them uh saying hey insert name 
thank you for doing this for me. Again, it's just talking to them, talking to them, talking to them, talking to them. What I added in there was a Reiki symbol uh, called Shoku Rei. Shoku Rei is a Reiki symbol that means literally put the power here or lights on. Um, and so every day I would just Shoku Rei my ally. Shoku Rei, Shoku Rei, Shoku Rei. Give him another another um, Reiki sign. Put that into him, put that into him, put that into him. Call on him, you know, um, even kind of scratch the ears or whatever. Just build that affection, build that bond with this ally. And over time, this my familiar's al his light just began to grow and grow and grow and grow and grow. He's still young, you know. He's still young um, in regards to here and now because it's 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 hard to explain. You know, you aren't creating it like a like a tulpa or a servitor or a thought form. It's like they already exist, and the possibility already of them already exists. You're just bringing awareness to that possibility and growing it with your intention okay so it's a very basic form of magic it goes back way far um it, this is just a very old kind of magic that works incredibly well and once you feel very confident in this ally and you feel as though okay i can feel them i can hear them i can see them i know they're there I, when i say their name i get chills once you feel confident with them with that go ahead and call them in so for me, I've already called in that ally. For those of you who are intuitively tapped in, you can probably see him. Um, but basically, you call them in. And the first time I called in my ally, I felt like this like rush of energy come in. And he was like, boom! He was right there. And I was showing my, my mentor. And I showed her a while back, you know, what I was doing. And she's like, oh yeah, that's cute. That's that's interesting. Or, or whatever. She just thought it was interesting or neat. Um, <laughs> so... <laughs> We're all talking about something, um, and I'm like, oh, let me show you something. And I run over, I grab uh, the statue from my ally, run back to her, and I say, look at him, isn't he, isn't he neat, isn't he cool? And she's like, oh yeah, I can see his light, or she, she you know, mentioned something about, you know, his former's energy. And I'm like, okay, watch this, and I, I got approval from my ally first. And, you know, I checked in, you know, is it okay to call you right now? Was, you don't want to usually just call for the sake of calling. It's rude. So, I got a yes from him. I went ahead and said his name, you know, this, like like you would to a, to one of your friends, like, Steven, right? Kind of like that. I said that to my ally. <laughs> and um, I swear to you, we both felt this energy go, whoa, and he was there. And my <laughs> teacher, she just jumped out of her chair. She's like, oh, my God. It surprised her. It really surprised her. Um, so you know, again, guys, it's a really awesome thing to do. It's it, it's fun to just push your magic to the next level with this little bit of, a, of a, almost like a project for you guys. Again, the trick is find something that psychologically speaks to you. To me, when I see dragons, I think of power and wisdom. So find something that psychologically speaks to you. Give it a name. Give it a job. S greet it repeatedly, thank it, give it attention and love, give it um, symbols of power such as Shoko Rei, maybe even some of the um, the runes, the Old Norse runes, uh, some of the, the, I think they're called the, um, the Alcam uh, runes, I'm not too familiar with the Celtic system, but it's basically um, like runes. Uh, in the Celtic tradition, you can draw those runes on the familiar and give them that energy over and over and over again. Eventually, they just grow into this this powerful being. Um, so, I encourage all of you to go ahead and try this out. Uh, if you're in my Discord server, we can communicate about you know me giving them a look after they've been developed for some time. It's always fun to check that out. Um, so, if you guys have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me. I have some great resources still, and you know I'm still learning myself, but I have some amazing resources here. Um, and so, yeah, if you guys would ever like to schedule an insight, uh, ritual consultation. Um, or you'd like some life force transference from a remote, remote distance, I do all of those things. Um, you can also come see me in person here, email me or text me or give me a call. Um, and again, guys, I do a 30-minute free ritual consultation. So if you're wanting something, some magic brought into your life, you're wanting something new brought into your life, we can do a ritual consultation to see if we're a good match, and we'll go from there. Again, guys, this has been Thiel Soul 10. Thank you so much. Have a magical day.